Do you want to make your travel photos stand out? Travel photography is more than just capturing landmarks or landscapes. It's about encapsulating the essence of a place, its culture, people, and the unique experiences one discovers. The right photo can transport you back to that moment, that feeling, and share that magic with others. That's why it's so essential to take quality travel photos. But let's face it, not every photo you take will be a masterpiece. We've all been there, clicking away, capturing hundreds of pictures, only to find a handful that truly embody the experience. But what if there was a way to change that? A way to make each click count, to make each photo a story in itself? That's precisely the purpose of this video. We're going to explore some exciting tips and tricks to improve your travel photography. We will delve into planning your shots, mastering the rule of thirds, making the most of natural light, and even post-processing your photos. By the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of how to capture stunning travel photos that do more than just document your journey. They'll convey a sense of place, tell a story, and even stir emotions. Whether it's the vibrant colors of a bustling market or the serene beauty of a sunset over an open field, your photos will bring these moments to life. But remember, it's not just about the technical skills. It's about having an open mind, a keen eye, and a sense of adventure. It's about being in the moment, embracing the unexpected, and finding beauty in the ordinary. So, whether you're a seasoned traveler looking to enhance your photo skills, or a beginner eager to capture memorable moments from your upcoming trip, this video is for you. So, are you ready to take your travel photography to the next level? Let's start this journey together, one photo at a time. The first step to getting amazing travel photos is planning. Yes, you heard me right, planning. It's not as boring as it sounds, I promise. In fact, it's the secret sauce to capturing those jaw-dropping, heart-stopping, Instagram-envy-inducing shots you've always dreamed of. So, how do we do it? Well, let's start with researching your location. Now, this isn't about memorizing the map or knowing every landmark. It's about understanding the vibe of the place, the colors, the textures, the architecture. Picture it in your mind's eye. What does it feel like? What's unique about it? These are the elements you want to capture in your photos. Next, check the weather and lighting conditions. This isn't just about avoiding rain or snow, although that's important too. It's about knowing when the light will be just right. Early morning and late afternoon, also known as the golden hours, often offer the most beautiful natural lighting. But don't shy away from harsh midday sun or overcast skies either. They can create dramatic and unique effects. Now let's talk about composition. This is where your creativity really gets to shine. Think about the rule of thirds, leading lines and framing. Play around with different perspectives. Get low, get high, get close, get far. Don't just stick to the typical eye level straight on shots. Be daring, be bold. And finally, consider the story you wanna tell. Each photo is a narrative, a moment frozen in time. What do you want it to say? Is it a bustling cityscape, a serene landscape, a candid moment, or a detailed close-up? Plan your shots around this narrative for a cohesive and compelling series of images. All these steps may seem overwhelming at first, but trust me, the more you practice, the more intuitive it becomes. Soon you'll be planning your shots in your sleep and your photos? Oh, they'll speak for themselves. Remember, a well-planned shot is often a well-executed shot. So let's plan to perfection and watch your travel photos transform from ordinary to extraordinary. The next step is understanding the rule of thirds. This is a fundamental principle in photography that can transform your travel snapshots into captivating images. Imagine dividing your frame into nine equal parts, creating a grid with two horizontal and two vertical lines. The idea is to align the subjects or points of interest along these lines or at their intersections. This technique creates balance and adds interest to your composition. Let's say you're capturing a sunset over the ocean. Instead of centering the horizon, place it along one of the horizontal lines. The golden sun can fall at one of the intersections, creating a dynamic composition that draws the viewer's eye. Or perhaps you're photographing a towering skyscraper. Align it with one of the vertical lines to emphasize its height and grandeur. The surrounding cityscape can fill the remaining segments, offering context and balance. By applying the rule of thirds, your travel photos will instantly become more professional and visually appealing. Now, let's talk about the importance of natural light in travel photography. Natural light, that beautiful organic illumination provided by the sun, is a powerful tool in your photography arsenal. 
It's a paintbrush that can color your photos with a unique, authentic touch that artificial light simply can't replicate. When used effectively, natural light can transform an ordinary photo into a breathtaking masterpiece, adding depth, creating shadows, and bringing out the vibrant colors in your shot. Imagine you're standing in front of a stunning landscape, camera in hand. The sun is setting, casting a warm golden hue across the scene. This is known as the golden hour, that magical time just after sunrise or just before sunset. During these hours, the light is softer, the colors are richer, and the shadows are longer. It's a perfect time to capture a landscape in all its natural glory. But it's not just about the golden hour. There's also the blue hour, the time just before sunrise and just after sunset. The sky takes on a deep blue hue, providing a cool, tranquil backdrop for your shots. It's an ideal time for cityscapes or seascapes, where the cool tones of the blue hour can create a serene, dreamy atmosphere. Let's not forget about overcast days either. While they may seem gloomy, they can actually provide some of the best lighting conditions for photography. The clouds act as a giant diffuser, spreading the sunlight evenly and reducing harsh shadows. It's a great time for portrait photography, as the soft diffused light flatters the human face, smoothing out skin tones and reducing contrast. Remember, photography is all about capturing light. So, the next time you're out and about with your camera, pay close attention to the quality of the natural light. Experiment with different times of day and weather conditions. See how the changing light transforms the scene in front of you. With the right use of natural light, your travel photos will look more vibrant and alive. Finally, let's discuss post-processing. This phase is the finishing touch that transforms your raw images into refined works of art. Post-processing is where your personal style shines through, making your travel photos unique and memorable. Think of post-processing as the digital darkroom. Just as photographers once developed their film, tweaking the exposure and contrast in a darkroom, we now have the ability to do the same, but digitally. It's here that we can correct any imperfections, enhance the elements we love, and truly bring our vision to life. The first step in post-processing is adjusting the brightness and contrast of your image. Brightness controls the overall lightness or darkness of your image. If your photo appears too dark or too light, adjusting the brightness can help bring out the details. Contrast, on the other hand, is about the difference between the lightest and darkest parts of your image. Increasing contrast can make your photo pop, while decreasing it can give a softer, more subtle effect. Next, consider adding filters. Filters are a great tool to quickly and easily add a specific look or feel to your photos. Perhaps you want to give your beach photo a warm, sunny glow, or make your cityscape look crisp and cool. Filters can help you achieve these effects in just a few clicks. Don't forget about cropping and straightening. These tools can help you hone in on your subject, eliminate distractions, and ensure your horizons are level. Remember the rule of thirds we discussed earlier? Cropping can help you apply this rule after the fact, ensuring your subject is positioned just right. Lastly, remember not to overdo it. The goal of post-processing is to enhance the beauty of your travel photos, not to completely change them. Subtlety is key. Make your edits, but always keep the original spirit and integrity of the photo. Remember, a little post-processing can go a long way in enhancing the beauty of your travel photos. So there you have it, your guide to taking amazing travel photos. We've journeyed through the landscape of photography techniques, starting with the importance of planning your shots. Remember, a well-planned shot can be the difference between a good photo and a great one. Next, we delved into the rule of thirds. This simple principle can dramatically improve your compositions, making your photos more balanced and engaging. Don't forget to experiment with it. We also talked about the magic of natural light. Embrace it, play with it, and let it bring your photos to life. The golden hours of sunrise and sunset are your best friends in this journey. Finally, we explored the world of post-processing. Don't shy away from editing your photos to enhance their beauty. A little adjustment here and there can make a significant difference. With these tips, you're now ready to capture stunning travel photos that stand out. Happy shooting!